for the Leader of the House and Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, Mr Jennings. The President, in my view, has quite rightly and recently requested that members stand up for the acknowledgement of country in recognition of our Indigenous brothers and sisters at the opening of each session. I, along with other members, choose not to enter the chamber until this acknowledgement begins and until the Lord's Prayer has been recited. A prayer, I might add, that recognises only one faith, the Christian faith, a belief system that I and many others in this House don't subscribe to, and I hope that we'll find an alternative soon. But my question is, as Leader of this House, Representative of the Premier of Victoria and Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, are you in any way concerned that we begin our daily schedule recognising an archaic tradition rather than acknowledging the true t traditional custodians of the land we meet on? Be yeah. I, I, um, just, I'm going to do something I really hate, and I'm going to I'm going to give a point of clarification just on your preamble. Um, um, uh, uh, as far as the the start of the day, um, I, I I choose to I, I've decided to actually um, sit down after the Lord's prayer, and and obviously let some people to find their way into the chamber. And then I choose to stand to do the acknowledgement to the uh, traditional owners of the land. Um, and, and if any members feel that they would like to join me in that, they feel free. Um, I choose to stand when I read out messages from the governor. I choose to stand when I read out messages from the assembly. There's a number of times I choose to stand, um, which don't really it's not prescribed necessarily in the standing orders, but I choose to stand at those occasions, and I don't expect everyone else to stand for me when stand with me when I do that. So I just would that point of a clarification. As far as the um, question to the minister, it does appear to be in a form of an opinion, and I, I, I would invite um, Ms. Patton, maybe if you could rephrase it. Uh, th thank you, President, for the clarification and the opportunity to, to, to do that. Um, so my question is, as, as Leader of the House and Representative of the Premier and Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, uh, will you consider changing the daily schedule? Minister. I seek your ruling. Ms Patton's asked a question in a number of roles for the Leader of the Government, including as Leader of the House in relation to parliamentary procedure. I seek your guidance as to whether, based on this precedent, you will allow members to ask questions of the Leader of the House, the Leader of the Government, in relation to parliamentary process and practice. Can, can we... Uh, maybe, maybe, Ms Patton, do you mind if we have the opportunity maybe to come back to you um, so um, I just want to uh, state that I do uphold Mr Ridgefield's point of order on um, Ms Patton's question. Uh, I, in the view that um, I would like to preside in a way that um, the standing orders um, are here to actually uh, help people ask questions for on behalf of their community, whether it be in adjournments or question time. Um, and in that view, similar to the view I took with Mr Finn, um, I'm going to invite Ms Patton um, to, if she, can, if she could possibly uh, rephrase a question um, to the Leader of the Government. Uh, Ms Patton. Yeah, thank you, President, and um, I, I appreciate the opportunity. So, in, in, in getting right to the nub of the question, Minister, um, will you take steps to make representations as Minister for Aboriginal Affairs so that we begin our daily schedule recognising the traditional custodians of the land who have been here for 60,000 years rather than an archaic tradition brought here a couple of hundred years ago? Minister. Uh, thank you, President. I thank Ms Patton for her question. Uh, in the original formulation of her question, uh, would it be possible for me to answer in, uh, in uh, given one response? Because you asked me to actually, as the Leader of the Government in this place, Minister representing the Premier in another place, Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, but and ultimately at the end of the day you're asking me a question as a human being. 
Uh, and obviously, as a question as a human being, I, I'm not at liberty to answer questions as a human being because I have all those commensurate, uh, continual responsibilities that I have to represent. <laughs> Um, and that obviously is, is the frame, is the frame on which I have to consider the answer. I am obliged to comply with the standing orders of this place. Indeed, the reason why I stand for the Lord's Prayer is because it's in the standing orders and I represent the government in this place, and that's the reason why it's incumbent upon and appropriate for me to do so. Um, and, and I am mindful of the standing orders and the procedures of this place. As Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, I'm particularly mindful of the ways in which we can demonstrate respect and regard and, and recognise the cultural heritage of this land, the continual connection of the Aboriginal people uh, of this country. Uh, and uh, the, and, and as, a, as, a, as Minister for Aboriginal Affairs to the government, which is uh, designed to, to, correct the, um, to correct many of the, the sorry, um, sorry aspects of, uh, of our history, in terms of trying to empower Aboriginal people and engage Aboriginal people in the parliament, but in community life, uh, I, uh, I undertake that responsibility very seriously. My uh, actions will be to balance the factors that I've actually drawn to that you've uh, asked me to reflect on, uh, and that will be the way in which I proceed in any actions that I take in relation to this matter. Ms Patton on a supplementary. Thank you, Minister. And um, yes, it, that was a that that was almost a human response. I felt um, <laughs> even even if it was not your human voice um, responding to me, but <laughs> I missed the nuance. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Mr. Somirek. Uh, so, in, as by way of supplementary, will you commit to working with me uh, to bring on motion number thirteen, sitting in my na name on the notice paper? that seeks to remove the Lord's Prayer from our daily sitting schedule, therefore making the recognition of Aboriginal land our first order of business instead. Minister. <laughs> well, 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 one of the things that's actually occurred through this question time is that uh, at least Ms Patton has clarified what the intention of that resolution means. So, so I, it was in fact a terribly obscure resolution that when I heard it, when I read it, I had no idea what it actually was intended to mean. But at least Ms Patton has informed the House now of what the effect of that resolution may be in relation to, again, uh, whether I work collaboratively or against members of this chamber, I am very happy to, uh, to act in accordance with uh, the, the government that I, act, the, that I represent uh, and I'm part of, uh, and uh, the, the way in which the government views that these matters should be, uh, should be dealt with by this parliament. Uh, once the government forms a view, then the uh, Procedures Committee may form a view, uh, the Presiding Officer may form a view, the Chamber may form a view on these matters, and I see myself as not a, an innocent party uh, in, that, uh, in that procedure, but I have to be mindful of all the responsibilities Time, that I have in this point.